Hi, my name is Dave Van Voris. Um, I'm a first uh, district uh, resident for 30 years. I'm an off-roader, and I'm also a BLM volunteer, and I strongly support this ordinance. Um, you know, um, and thank you, Randy Rogers. Um, I was a part of the stakeholders process um, a couple years back. I went to the Municipal Advisory Council meetings, and, um, you know, I heard a lot of people um, complain that, um, that, you know, they can't ride on their own property. Well, when we were looking at this, we were looking at, you know, 10 riders and no lot size restriction so that kids could ride in their own yard supervised by their parents. And, you know, it's a really sad fact, but it's a fact since uh, January of 2005, 17 kids have died in off-road vehicle accidents in Riverside and San Marino counties. Not a single one was killed in their yard. And this is where these kids need to be. Um, we noticed the illegal trespass picks up after school gets out, and the sheriff documentation will follow this. Um, you know, 10 riders on five acres, that's not much land. And, you know, they can go around and around for a while. But, you know, with, with a million acres out there to ride on, there's a third of a million acres of just dedicated OHV area. Johnson Valley, um, Stoddard Valley, El Mirage, Razor, Dumont Dunes, and then there's a whole whole wide variety of, of Wemo trails. I can catch Wemo trails from my house by the San Bernardino National Forest and go all the way past Barstow and just cross the pavement once. Um, so um, where do people go? You know, if they're in a residential neighborhood and they're on five acres and they got ten people, they're not going to stay on those five acres. It's, it turns into a dust bowl real quick. So they're, they're going to be ripping up and down the streets. And the ones that say they don't know that they can't do that, well... I got a ticket riding my Yamaha in Apple Valley in 19, uh, ni 1986. I was riding my Yamaha 500 back from trail, back from town up Chapatool Road, which was non-maintained by the county, and there was a sheriff coming the other way, and he hit his lights, and I pulled over, and I got a ticket in 1986. But um, you know, we need this ordinance. We're still having problems out here um, because I'm a supporter of this, um, a known supporter of this ordinance. Um, I had somebody from the off-road side post directions to my house on the internet with a threat to pay me a little visit. And about a month ago, they did. And here it is. It was witnessed by my neighbor. Um, my wife's disturbed. She's concerned for my safety, my well-being. My mother and father are concerned for my safety. So, so, so I'm going to say, I came here to, to say this to you. This is what's happening. Uh, we need this ordinance. We need it strong. And um, you know, we need to keep it as it is. And if you want to consider... Um, Time. Could you, could you explain what, that, uh, what we're looking at is real quickly? Well, the guy, uh, the guy came down the road, which is a public road on a dirt bike, and then got to my property made a sharp right and went wah, right up and over the hill. Now that, that's a single rut. That's just a single track. But there was no reason for, for him to be there. He, he, there was a witness to it. He left. Um, and, um, you know, it's intimidation. They're saying, we know where you live, and we can get to you. Thank you, sir.